The Dallas Stars have won the last two games. They have a 3-2 lead in this series. An opportunity today to advance to the Western Conference Final. On the other side, the St. Louis Blues look to force a game seven on home ice on Tuesday night. Shen with Schwartz and Tarasenko. They played together in the third period in game five. Petrangelo with time, shoots, scores! Just 63 seconds in. What a start for the St. Louis Blues. Dominant off the rush, dominant off the cycle, engaging physically. And Alex Petrangelo, who had six shots on goal in game five, his first shot on goal in game six, nothing but net. Klingberg surveys, still has the puck. Out for Van and across to Zuccarello. In front, Sagan! Just behind Bennington and Sagan scores! This is elite play from John Klingberg. Watch him dominate the puck, composure, pull everybody over to you, break down the penalty killer. So it's a great job by Klingberg, drawing the coverage in. Ben moves the puck, everybody in green moving to the net. Doesn't score on the first one, but gets it on the second chance. Great pass from Cicerello. Janmark on the puck. Now Foxer for Como. Como, cross ice. He's getting it in front, but could not connect with Janmark. Now Sagan dropping it off to Radulov. Alexander Radulov in behind the net. Radulov leaves it for Haskin to the cross, but Ben could not get the stick on it. Haskin is down low, giving it across to Grease, and I think it goes right over the stick to Jamie Benny. He just couldn't get it. Now Sundquist across, score! David Perron set up by Oscar Sundquist. 2-1 St. Louis. Watch how quickly St. Louis Blues transition, a line change. It gets in deep past Essa Lindell, and then Oscar Sundquist just throws it across the crease, and then Perron jumps into a dead spot in coverage and puts it past the goaltender pitcher. Knocked to the boards by Lovejoy. Ben and Steen come in. Now Pareko with a shot. That knocks down Bishop. He lost the stick, he's down, and the Blues score! Alexander Steen with Bishop down, 3-1 St. Louis. There are very few players in the league that have a heavy and hard shot like Colt Pareko. And Ben Bishop just found it out. You give him time, space, and Bishop reacts too late, and you see where it gets him, right up on the collarbone. Now because Steen gained possession immediately after Bishop was hit, that is why the whistle was not blown, because the Blues maintained possession. Whistle would have been blown once the Stars gained control of the puck. Continuing along with it is Ben. Taken away by O'Reilly, and now a breakaway for Sammy Blay. Tees one up and scores! Sammy Blay's thing is shooting the puck and scoring. And watch what he does. He uses Ryan O'Reilly as a decoy. Watch him slow up, so that gets Ben Bishop a little bit off the pole. And then he just blows at high blocker side. What a brilliant play by Sammy Blay. Phenomenal. Come in, see him look over. So Bishop kind of said, do I take the pass or do I take the shot? And that's all the room that Sammy Blade needed. Ben Bishop is going to the dressing room. He's not staying by the bench. He's walked right down the uh, corridor here to the Dallas Stars dressing room. Badoon clears into the neutral zone. Spezza has it. Two seconds to go, and you can bring up the Zamboni in Dallas. The Blues fans here in Dallas come to their feet and cheer. We've got a game seven on Tuesday night in St. Louis, folks. A winner take all final game of what has become a great second round series between the Blues and Stars. 4-1 the final.